This is the M6P. I'm Jared. This is my beautiful wife, Jennifer. Hello. And we're going to be doing an unboxing of the latest X-Men Marvel Legends. Uh, but I thought we'd have Jennifer come along today and kind of get a wife's reaction to, uh, to some of these things. You know, usually it's Darren or myself or some of the other guys uh, looking at the latest toys and collectibles. But let's get a female perspective. Uh, let alone the uh, the wife behind it who helps me pay for all this fun stuff. That's right. So we've got some uh, we got some fun ones. We've got the X Men 60th Anniversary Training Room sets. Thank you, Vanna. That was great. And then we also have the X Men Five Pack of Strife and the Evil Mutants. I guess that's what it's being called. I'm the not quite evil sure. Evil Mutants. I don't know. What what would you call this set? I don't know who any of those people are. Oh well, this is gonna be. Interesting. I do like her outfit. I knew it. I knew you would. Well, we're going to save that one for next. Oh, okay. But first we're going to do the X-Men training uniforms. Now, what do you know about, uh, what do you know about the X-Men? What have I taught you over the years? Um, they're the heroes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they're led by Professor Xavier. Yeah. Okay, we're going to not do any more of that. Because oh. you know so much about the X-Men. Well, yes, but my favorite is Mystique, and she's not... She's one not. of them. But she's on your shirt, which is cool. She's the best. So, you know uh, that I used to get the X-Men figures, the Marvel Legend figures, and they had plastic in the front, and now they're in this cardboard. So, oh. what do you think about that? It's much... You can't see them. You can't. Like, when they come in the plastic, you can at least see Right, so they're saying, like, getting. like, you can buy it at the store, go home, take out pieces, and return it because you can't see the... The plastic. I never even thought of that. Yeah. I was thinking, what if you don't like it because you can't see it? So they say, Hasbro says they're going to go back to the plastic packaging now. Yeah, I like that. Better, they were doing it for the environment. Oh, but. okay. All right, so this first one is my girl. Who's my favorite X-Men character? Storm. Who's my favorite Marvel character? Storm. Very good. So this Wait, is Storm. Where'd her hair go? This is Storm in her training uniform. Oh. Okay. So this is after Extinction Agenda. She was reduced to a child form and oh. then bald, if you want to move her around at all. Why'd she go and, bald? Uh, well, they shaved her head. Aww. She was trapped on Genosha, but then she was brought back from being a child, and so her hair was growing out at this time. Okay. So her hair was fairly short. So what do you think about this she, storm? She doesn't move well. What do you mean? Oh, maybe I wasn't doing it right. Don't break her. But I know. Yeah. She's very... Hard to bend. So the plastic isn't the best? I don't think so. Well, she comes with these accessories. She got some lightning hands here. I'm afraid I'm gonna break her because she doesn't bend well. And then she's got closed fists, so we can pop one of these hands out and then pop in some lightning hands. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's how she looked. The other hand's like that. But now she has lightning hands. Okay, that's cooler. So what do you think about the training uniform? Like, do you like the blue and yellow? Yeah, uh, you're kind of the fashionista in the family. It's okay. It looks very 90s. Is this from the 90s? It, it is. It <laughs> is. <laughs> very 90s. <laughs> what makes it 90s? I don't know. Maybe because it, it might just look like the cartoon that you showed me. Like their outfits in the cart. Uniforms? Not Uniforms? outfits? <laughs> Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Uniforms. Uh, it, it looks like what we've seen in the cartoon, and maybe that's why I think it's 90s. But well, I love the 90s. I'm all for right. it. Right. And with, with that storm comes Forge. Now, do you know whose Forge is in regards to Storm's um, life? Oh, no. I just know he's the guy that comes from, back from the future. Oh, in the cartoon? In the, yeah, that's all I know. Well, Bishop? Oh, who's Forge? But Forge <laughs> no, you're, you're good. You're good. That's who I was thinking of was Bishop. No, Forge was... Who's he? Forge helped Bishop come back. Oh. He was like running the, the time machine. But in the oh, comic so, books... Oh, okay. So I wasn't Forge, all wrong. In the comic books, Forge and Storm are an item for a long time. They are? They're together. And he proposes to her. Oh. And she says, I have to think about it. And he goes to talk to Jean. And Jean says... And he's like, what, what do you think Storm's going to say? And she says, it's not for me to say. And then that puts doubt in Forge's mind, and he goes and breaks up with Storm before oh, oh, no, she no, can no. even answer. Oh, and no. the issue ends with Storm on the floor crying, saying, I would have said yes. So that's kind of why I've hated Jean for 30 oh, years. Oh, she's the worst. <laughs> 
Anywho. Wait, did they get back together after that? Uh, they kind of date back on and off, oh, but no. never anything serious again. Wait, didn't he come from the future, though? Shouldn't he have known that they would have made that's it? In the mo- that's in the cartoon. Oh. Okay. In the comic book, no. No, he's part of the X-Men. Oh, I don't like that story. That's sad. Well, how, how are you, my fashionista wife, on this uniform? It's a little different than Storm's. <sighs> um, well, the headband is just really unnecessary, <laughs> okay. personally. It's okay. Yeah. Why does he have the... What is this? The, the, suspend, the top suspenders or whatever that is. Well, he keeps his weapons and his knickknacks and gum. Knickknacks! <laughs> <laughs> He's got his own superhero <laughs> toys tucked in He's there. He's got his gun. So if you had this, you'd have toys tucked in. Oh, Not sure. toys. What are they called? Trinkets. Action, action figures, knickknacks. Yes. You yeah. tuck them in. Yeah. Have some gum. He's got his gun. And yeah, he don't, com- don't, I don't like the headband. That's unnecessary. Now, how about his movement? You felt like you were going to break the oh, storm. How do you feel about him. Forge? Is he a little bit easier? A little bit, maybe. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> he's got, got some good hip movement. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, All right got, so, who do you think the third one is? You remember? One of your favorites. Rogue? Is that Jubilee? It's Jubilee. I don't want her. Well, well, tell us why. Why do you not oh, like Jubilee? Oh, she is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So I all I can say is from what I know from the cartoon. Right. That's all. You I, don't that's really all I books. really know. I don't read the comic books. But in the cartoon, she never listens, and then she gets everybody in trouble because she doesn't listen. <laughs> and it, oh my gosh, she gets on my nerves. But no, I don't. She comes with the most accessories here. Wait, why does she get all the accessories? So she's got an alternate head. With blowing bubble gum. Okay, that's kind of fun. I kind of like that. And then she's got her... You want to put her sunglasses on her? Oh. Oh, these look like um, a Cyclops sunglasses. Yeah. So then she's got her glasses. Oh, she is cool. And Oops. she's got... Those are cool. Two fists and then some fireworks energy. She does sort. have the best accessories. Why? Yeah. That's not fair. You can pop those on her. Wait, how do you get them on? Yeah. Oh, you twist Just them? There. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. So I don't got care for her, but I like her accessories. Storm, Forge, and Jubilee. And the other training pack that's coming is Psylocke, Gambit, and Banshee. And they'll all be in their training uniforms, and there'll be a nice display in the basement. Oh. Yeah. So doesn't that make you exciting? Everybody's matching? They'll be on yes. one shelf together? I would put her bubble face on. I like the bubble. We can do that. You want to pop that head off? Oh boy, I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. I don't think you'll break it. I'm gonna let you you just pop oh. it right off. You just pull it right off. Oh boy. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now see if yeah, you can get that one. Yeah, this is fun. I like the bubble. Why does she get the fun stuff? Well, Storm got lightning fingers. Did I get it? Oh. Okay, I got her. Yeah. So what do you think? Is that a better look? Yeah, it's better. And you can pop the glasses on? Yeah. Helps me like her a little more. There we go. She your favorite now? Yeah, because she's got cool accessories. And she seems to be movable, fairly movable. She was. I was just afraid I was going to break the head. Okay. All right, so nine, I mean, one out of ten, one to ten, what would you give that three pack? Oh. What do you think? Like, um, was like, it worth our money? <laughs> I mean, that's not what I would spend oh, my money oh. on, but <laughs> uh, we'll go with a seven. Okay. That's okay. What would it have needed to get to an eight? More accessories. More accessories. I really like accessories. Right, now we've got this X-Men set. It's some X-Men villains led by these, by Strife here. Okay. Do you, do you recognize any of these? None of them. No. Uh-uh. They weren't, they weren't big on the animated series, so you probably oh, see, wouldn't know them. That I know. or the movies. I know the movies. But a lot of these are very D-list X-Men characters, so it's kind of a big surprise that we ever got these characters. We never thought we would. Oh, okay. So you like this? Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay. Like, give me more. Give me ten more packs of these. So what do you think about the initial design? Like that art? That's some... I think that's Ken Lashley. It's okay. It looks pretty cool. Is there one that sticks... Well, you, you like the girl. Oh, the girl. Design, right? She looks awesome. I like her outfit and her green hair. So we've got this base. Okay. So this was originally a Doctor Strange base from the movies, but it's going to be used for Zero is instead. Is it a, like a portal? Yes. Okay. Very good. Look at that. Yes. So this is Zero. So we're going to open up here. Zero is part of the Mutant Liberation Front. Oh. Okay. If you will, or if you won't. <laughs> I guess I have to. You, <laughs> you will. So here's Zero. I'll okay. give him to you. He is a teleporter. He works for Strife uh, in the Mutant Liberation Front. 
He looks like from that one movie we watched with the circle squid squid games with the circle oh, on his head. Oh, okay. All right. That's a connection. But he there. probably yeah. came before Squid Games, right? Yes. Yes, he was he's a character of the late 80s. Oh, his, New Mutants. His one foot goes up and down, yeah. but his other foot does not. Oh, just a little tighter. Just a little tighter. No, that I mean that's he's definitely his foot. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's he's kind of a plain figure? Yeah. Because this is, but this is just kind of how he looks in the books. He's okay. just all white with So they made him circles. pretty accurate then? Yeah, he's very accurate. And he goes, Poof. can put him there with the, Ta-da. Oh, not sure if they can be seen on the camera or not. Oh. Poof. Yeah. And it looks like he comes with an accessory here. Oh, you know, I'm going to What are you that. guessing? Uh, something to make the portal. What do you think? Oh, just extra hands? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, well, it doesn't, like, Doctor Strange has that sling ring thing. I thought maybe mm. he needed something to make the portal. Nope. Oh. Just he, him. He does his thumbs like this. He could either <laughs> make the portal or make the portal. <laughs> he's either angry fist or he's like <laughs> portal thumbs. We probably have started with Strife, who is the, the main seller of this series. Here, I'll let oh, you hold him. Oh, he kind of looks cool. He kind of looks like Shredder. Yeah. I love Shredder. I love the turtles. I love that cape. That is uh, yeah. like a voluminous cape. It's legit. You know? So he originally was made in uh, an X-Men Toys R Us line that was short produced. And so he became very expensive on the aftermarket. Oh. Um, so they have since updated him. Looks so much better than yeah, the Toys R Us version. Cool. It's got some muscles going on. Gives yeah. Some, some definition. So he is Cable's clone. You know Cable? Yes. You know, uh, Cyclops and Madeline Pryor's son. Didn't know that, but sure. Or, so you probably thought Jean Grey's son. Jean Grey and Cyclops' son from the future. Wait, Jean Grey's. Okay, yeah. But Madeline Pryor was a clone of Jean, and Cyclops married Madeline Pryor. Whoa. And they had Cable, but he had a virus, so they sent him to the future to be raised. And of in the course. future... <laughs> his clone was made <laughs> and that's strife of <laughs> so it's kind of like cyclops's son sounds too. like a strife kind of life i can't keep up with that oh my gosh <laughs> strife kind of life <laughs> is that what oh they named the comic book no they should come to me for names i got names <laughs> and he comes with some alternate hands here some fists oh he's got angry fists too yeah he's pretty cool i like him i like villain the next one is the one i was most looking forward to his name is random yeah, he looks kind of random. <laughs> so he started out as a villain and then became a member of X Factor. So he was good. And then he's kind of towed the line going back and forth ever since. So what is th- what's going on here? So he can mutate his hand into uh, a gauntlet and he can fire Yikes. out of that gauntlet. But he can also mutate it back. Unfortunately, they didn't give us a regular arm or hand for him. So he's always in that, that stance. Okay. So he can be with your X-Factor display, your Marauders display, uh, a couple different ones. Weapon X, he I like ran around with them. I like yeah. this vest. It looks pretty cool. Like, he looks like a tough guy. Yeah, like a biker. Yeah. He's got tats. Yeah, he's got a snake tat. Mm-hmm. He has angry fist, too. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Uh, very, very much a 90s character as well. <laughs> why he's being... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll but... see his face. He's kind of grumpy. Yeah, he is a little grumpy. I think he could have done good with a... Uh, yeah, face. not a... Uh, yeah, not so much grumpy. That's okay. So his like leg his, seems to be bent a little I'll bit. I'll allow it. I like his vest. See how he was in the in the packaging, so now this, this leg kind of bows out a little bit. So oh. might have to heat him up. Okay. And uh, you think you get him to stand? Maybe. They all teleported. All right. So the next one is Pretty Boy. Okay. And I know that you've not heard of Pretty Boy. No. But he was in the X-Men cartoon for two episodes. He was? Two episodes when Lady Deathstrike and the Reavers went to the Morlock Tunnels. And okay. there was that, the Soul Drinker was the big green monster that could shoot things out of his mouth and suck the souls out of Jubilee oh, and Gambit. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. Yeah, so he's one of the, the Reavers. He has an all-mechanical body. I was going to say, where's his stomach at? Yeah, he's pretty much like a head 
with a yeah. robotic body. And then he comes with some sweet accessories. He's got some guns. Why do they call him Pretty Boy? Uh, that's a great question. I would think he would be prettier. Like... <laughs> well, I think it might be tongue in I mean, he is a good looking guy, though. Oh, okay. You know? I was going to say, like, just like he's like all metal. I would think they would make him, like, fancy. So maybe Pretty Face. Okay, Pretty Face Boy. So he's got two, oh, yeah. two hands and two guns with, you can put a blast effect. He's shooting or it can be a smoke effect coming out of the guns. Do they go in the other hands? Yeah. Oh, you the open the hands. other hands on. Can you do it? Oh, geez. yeah. Good job. Okay. This is a first for you, right? I don't yes. usually let you touch my I toys. I know. I'm always afraid I'm going to break them. Um... Oh, no. I don't know if I can get that one on. Yeah, usually they come in, okay. I show them to her, and then I take them to the basement, and they go on display. No, so you put the gun. Wait, no. what is it? <laughs> no, it's an effect. Like, he's shooting oh. it. <laughs> so on. you put the gun Hold in. Hold on, stand by. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. So you put the gun in his hand. These need to come with instructions. Well, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You can get it? I don't know. I'm going to let you do it and show me what it's Well, then you're going to have to hold okay, these I'll accessories. Hold these. I'm gonna, okay, I'll I don't want to break it. It's all right. So we'll take the I gun. I was doing it all wrong. It's all right. Just push it in there. And then which accessory do you want to... Which green the one? The green. This, the this blast. Is, yeah. So then it looks like he's... Shooting. Oh, okay. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. See? Like, put him up. Huh. Yeah, just like that. Okay, pretty boy. Now, pretty boy, I'm not... He might be, I don't know, like his, his middle sense of gravity, like how, how he's yeah. going to stand. We'll know. see what you can get All accomplished right. with him. Oh, he's good. What? He's good. Wow. Well, I displayed him like that. That's why. Uh. And then we've got Vertigo. Okay, let's see her. She was in the cartoon, but she was in a very different outfit. So that's probably why you don't. Recognize her? Recognize her? Yeah, she she's cool. So there's Vertigo. Oh, she's got like one shoulder on, one shoulder off. So she kind of the the best dressed oh, of this group. Oh yeah, she's... even more than Random. You liked Random's outfit. I do like Random's outfit. Yeah, they could date. They got the same <laughs> style. What? What? They could date. It... I just want to know who you thought was best oh, dressed. Oh, I mean they they are. They 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 got the best style. They're gonna like that about each other. So they can they can be together. And she comes with two closed fists. Or she can use her open hands. She's she's really just a repaint of the Invisible Woman action figure. So she, okay. to me, is kind of phoned in. Oh, phoned in. Um, I think what does I would she like do? To, so she Makes can cause you vertigo very, very, much, very much. Yeah. So she was in the Savage Land in those episodes. Do you remember when Professor X and Magneto yeah. went to the Savage Land? Yeah. And they had their powers. She was one of Mr. Sinister's mutates. And she would hold her hands up. But she, her outfit was like a dress. It was a skirt. And had all these different swirls. Pink and... And green Why did they on change it? it? Uh, well, it was that's how she was in the cartoon. This is a comic accurate uniform. This yeah. is what she wore, and she was actually part of the Marauders with Random, uh, working for Mister Sinister. Okay. Yeah. So is she probably your favorite one then. She is. So these guys are not together. They are not together, but in your world, they can. Are they, they villains together? Want. Like, are they friends? Um, they were on the same team together. There it is. All right. Okay. So, um, oh no, that's Whoops. all right. So you, you gave the X-Men training uniforms, uh, a seven out of 10. Yeah. And now we've got this oh. villainous box set. I like these guys better. Uh, what would you give them out of 10? For their uniforms or just them in general? It, just in general. Um, I think they're pretty cool. I'd okay. give them an eight. Okay. What could have improved it for you? Oh, more accessories. Always more accessories. Yeah. Okay. It makes them more yeah, then totally. you can like change what you want them to look like or what you want them to do. So was it worth worth it for this <laughs> to set to? I think you will say yes. Well, here's the thing: you don't know what I spent on. It's these, true. Right? right, so you can I, just say and yes. And again, I, yeah, I probably wouldn't spend my money on it, but that's okay. <laughs> I like to spend my money on other stuff. All right. Well, do you have anything else to to add to this? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. Until next time, make yours the M6P. easier than I thought.